Dating coach Demona Hoffman is here to help you polish it up with some pro advice. And joining her is single gal Brittany Valley, who has kindly agreed to let us evaluate her dating profile right now. Hi, ladies. Brittany, are you ready for this? Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your process first? Okay, so I'm a 27-year-old um, who moved to the city from Woodstock, Ontario um, with my cat. Uh, and I've lived here just working to get into reality television and get into be a story producer. Um, I love the outdoors. I love to travel. I'm super weird and random. Um, and I have like three or four pictures that I kind of like rotate throughout the apps and I really only use three apps and that's that's really my process. Okay, good. I like weirdos. Let's get this going. So we are going to start with your profile pictures first. Let's see the first pic. Aw, there's the kitty. Okay, Demona, what do you think? Is Does this reflect well upon her? Does this work in the world of online dating? Brittany, you're gorgeous and that is very <laughs> clear in that photo. But I would question who the star of that photo is. To me, it looks like your cat. And stats show that people who put cats in their profile photos actually get fewer matches. Interestingly, dogs do a little bit better. I'm an animal lover overall, but I want you to be the star of your profile. So I would say, especially for a primary pick, that one would be a no-no for me. Yeah, and it's a gorgeous cat. You don't need that kind of competition. No. Now, let's take a look at the second photo. Super cute. Okay, Demona, what do we think? Well, just like we said with the cat, the, the, the competition <laughs> doesn't have any place in your dating profile. So we want you to be the star. We want you to be the focus. Absolutely. Great advice. Okay, I think the third pick is going to be a winner. Take a look. Hot, hot, hot. Demona, what do we think? Very hot. Interestingly, having black and white photos can really stand out. What I'm trying to do when I'm creating a profile is really be strategic. I talk about using the three C's when we look at your profile overall. That's color, context, and character. So interestingly, I, while I'll try to choose a bright color, like a red dress or red lipstick for a primary photo, you can actually achieve the same result standing out. You said you're a little weird. So having something a little different in a black and white photo is great. I just want to make sure I really know when I look at all of the photos, what you look like and how beautiful you are. Yeah. You don't want any deception involved, uh, which is a really good point. So let's see the next picture. <laughs> There's the weirdo. We love it. <laughs> or do we love it? Demona, do we love that? So a little bit of personality. We love it. Yeah, we love it. We love, that's that third C, that character, showing your personality. That's the one that most people forget, Brittany. And I'd be willing to bet that having that photo on your profile gets you a lot more messages or quality messages. I bet you get a lot of responses to it. Am I right? Uh, I got a pre I could, a could amount. I don't know how I cross my eyes that way, but a lot of people can't. <laughs> It's a special skill. skills <laughs> that will really help you on your dating profile for sure. You have limited real estate here. So we want to make sure that every photo is part of telling your story the way that you want to tell it. So a couple, what do you think so far of the advice, Brittany? Oh, I love it. I completely agree. Maybe I just didn't see this stuff. Even like about the cat, I was like, he really does steal the show. He always does. <laughs> He's such a cutie. <laughs> Demona, for other single women out there, how many of your photos should ideally be on the app? How many is too many? Actually, Brittany is right on with four to five photos because we want to think of it like you're sort of the curator of the mu museum of your life. So you're telling your story. You're giving information with each photo. We want to give just enough where we're kind of leaving a little a little uh, trail for them to pick up on and actually have something substantial to say in their message to you. And then we also don't want to have so many photos. It's not your Instagram profile because it, inevitably more information will make them say, wait a minute, wait a minute, maybe she's a little too weird or maybe maybe there's, there's something there like sh that they're not into and we don't want to risk that. We just want to give enough information to move to the next step. Okay, good stuff. We got the photos down pat now. It's time to check your bio out, Brittany. So, uh, Demona, you can tell us what Brittany's doing right and wrong here with her bio. Do you mind reading it for us, Brittany? I am ready. I find I struggle the most with my bio, but this is my bio. 
<laughs> I'm fun, quirky, and a big ball of energy, uh, lover of emojis. <laughs> I work in reality TV and take life far too seriously. Let's connect over Zoom. I love the start of it. You have so much energy and it really comes across in that first line. I love that you say you're a lover of emojis. I too am a lover of emojis. Maybe we want to use a couple of emojis to demonstrate what your favorite emojis are. And then I'd love a little bit more specificity. You say that you work in reality TV. Maybe you don't want to say which shows you work on, but you can say what shows you love to watch because we want to think of leaving threads, leaving threads that they can pick up on to send you a specific message and move off the app because that's the goal, right? I think we forget that. It's not just yes. about how many matches or likes you get. Ugh. It's about how much, how much quality comes through. That is really I, good advice. Brittany, what do you think? I completely agree. I just never know what to say. I never know what's too much or too little to say in a bio. So I just, that's great advice. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people have that challenge. Like people don't know how to write about themselves. I have a whole free profile starter kit for people that need help with prompts or even fill in the blank profiles that I know work and can get you past that phase and onto the date. Demona, you've thought of everything. I love that. You've got to follow her for more advice uh, if you are creating these profiles because they are a bit daunting. Thank you to Brittany. Thank you to Demona. I bet all the single people watching the show are going back to reevaluate their own profiles.